So I'm here. I've, could you lift up your badge, Joe? It's Joe, Joe Downey. Correct. From Waterway. Hello. So, hey, Joe, tell me what you do. Uh, well, I'm the websites manager at Wartrade, which basically means I'm the web guy, um, but I'm also in charge of social media, um, and that's kind of why I'm here. So I'm doing lots of updates, we're writing a blog, and uh, we're doing the, the Twitter updates and the Facebook updates, and we're gathering photos and videos just to sort of bring it alive a bit to our supporters and the people back home to just explain what's going on and why Wartrade's here and what we're all up to. So. This stuff is moving very fast at the moment, isn't it? I mean, I've observed that um, there seem to be a lot more people this year at World Water Week using Twitter yeah. and using a hashtag than last year. Yeah. I wonder what your impressions are. Yeah, well, it's, um, it really has taken off in the last year. We have uh, just got our chief exec, uh, Barbara Frost, using Twitter for the first time. And I've just bumped into her and she said, I know I haven't been using it as much as I should, but um, cause she finds it easy to do it on her computer, but she's going to make an effort to do some from Stockholm. And we had our international um, programs director, Girish, tweeting when he was on a visit from, uh, to Pakistan um, a couple of weeks ago. So. Um, it really has got the momentum now, and I think people are starting to see the benefits of it. Um, you know, so, so what companies. do you think? I mean, you know, we all experience this because I, you know, I work in communications at ACFO, and I, I like, you know, the obstacles that we all face to, encourage, you know, helping people use Twitter because it can be really intimidating for, for, for the kind of people at this event, who have not used these kind of tools before. They've, well, they've had communications people that help them yeah. with that. It's challenging for them, yeah. It's challenging, but it's getting easier now. Um, you know, all the apps on the iPhones and things make it pretty easy. And I think the idea of the hashtag seems to people are finally kind of getting the hang of using them. Um, but also, I think it's um, like a wardrobe, for example. We've created a little user guide for people, with just you know, one pager, just to say you know what, what it all is and just how easy it is, and, and you know, just doing little demonstrations of it. And once they get the hang of it, you know, right. a lot of them just get right into it. So do you, do you? Have you decided? Can anybody at WaterAid is anybody at WaterAid allowed to tweet? Everybody, you know, can you all, or is that, or have you That's, looked at policies yeah, on yeah, this? Yeah, we're just kind of doing that at the moment. So we're in the stage of like a draft social media guidelines policy, which I've been writing. Um, yeah, the idea is, you know, everyone can have an account. Um, you need to make sure that it says, you know, these are my views, not necessarily those of the organisation. And then some nice guidelines, which are basically use common sense, you know, don't, you know, it's public, um, it's not a private medium, so, um, yeah, just use common sense and that's the best guideline. So, I mean, you have a very sort of devolved network of organisations around the world that you, you know, you work with. How do you see this tools like Twitter improving the understanding around the network of what everybody's doing? Uh, it varies from country to country, and I guess it's not just Twitter; it's other things as well. Um, like, what else is? What well, else? there's a lot of stuff that you know. Google um, mapping is being really useful. We're doing stuff in the field with water point mapping. Yeah, you you, what, you got a water point mapper yeah, thing. Yeah, we're launching that here in Stockholm. Uh, yeah. No, we're not launching that. That's already launched. It's launched. Yeah, last yeah. year. Uh, but the other thing we are launching is washwatch.org, which is I think that's the other big trend: is like data becoming free and open and lots of people sharing their data uh, in the field and doing really cool stuff with it, like you know, lots of nice visualizations and bringing graphs and boring stats yeah. to life. Um, so that's one side of it. On the Twitter side, I think it's just about sharing knowledge. So we've got people in Nepal sharing stuff with people in Bangladesh and um, particularly in Asia, they're really switched on to all the technologies and they've got the connectivity. So yeah, it's just facilitating sharing of knowledge and it just happens much quicker now. It's not yeah. like you have to put a report, send it to the printer, put it in the post. Yeah. It's, you know, instantaneous. Great. Well, um, we must get the people involved with that to drop by and show us some of these new tools sometime in the week. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Right, Thanks, cheers. <laughs>